This is part two to the handprint art piece artwork thing. <laughs> so if you haven't watched the previous video, you may want to go do that and this video will make more sense. Ah, found it. So I need to clean up the edges of the piece that I put together. And I don't have a clean edge to run against the fence on the table saw. So I need to make one edge straight with the handsaw. So I can do that. Now that I've got one straight edge, I can use that to make the opposite edge straight as well, or parallel and I cut off a little more of the edge I cut with the handsaw. Now one of the stems looks like it either didn't get any glue or it didn't get enough glue or something, but it wasn't really attached very well, so I needed to re-glue that stem. So I put a little glue in underneath, then clamped it down, and I used a toothpick sort of as a spacer so the clamp would push on the stem and not on the surrounding material. Now to hold this piece in the frame, what I think I'll do is make a rabbit all the way around the edge, and I'll make a groove or a dado in the frame that'll hold that edge of the panel. So it'll be just like a panel door with a panel in the, in the center. I'm guessing with all of this side grain on the art piece, it's gonna expand and contract along its width quite a bit. So it needs to float within the frame. So I sanded, then in putting the finish on, I first cleaned it with mineral spirits and that gets the dust off. Then I can put a finish on and I just used butcher block oil. So I put it on thick let it sit for about five minutes, then I wiped off the extra. Now to start working on the frame. So I have these two pieces of walnut that are kind of, kind of left over from other projects, but I think they'll be just enough to make the frame for the, for the handprint piece. I thought I'd do something more like a, a rail and style frame, kind of like a door frame, instead of a mitered picture frame. I think that'll be a little stronger, but it kind of feels like that's what it should be. So I'm thinking I can get this end of this piece and rip it in half and get my top and bottom longer pieces, and then I can get one vertical side and then the other vertical side out of this piece, and that should work. <laughs> So I took some time measuring, really being sure of the pieces I needed. I had only one chance to, to make this. So I cut a longer piece into the piece for the two pieces along the top and bottom and then one of the vertical pieces. Then I could take all the parts I'd made and straighten them. So I jointed a face and an edge. Then I could plane the opposite face. So the joiner makes one face flat, and the planer makes the opposite face parallel to the first face. So that's why you need both machines. Then the table saw makes the edges parallel. So I can rip the long pieces in half and start thinking about how the frame goes together and how it holds the art piece. And so the art piece will be like a panel in a panel door, and it'll be held in an edge. So it won't be held like a picture's held with, with either little points or nails. It'll actually be held in the groove of the piece of wood. I think that'll, since there's so many joints in this piece, I'm afraid of it warping or mostly just not being very strong in its long dimensions. So I think the frame will help hold it and keep it secure 
in its long dimension, and that should work. <laughs> now, while I was doing the walnut frame, I was also making a scrap piece exactly the same thickness and nice and straight. And I'll use that to set up the tongue and groove joint at the corners of the frame. So the first thing to do is to cut the dado into the side of the two x four. And I needed to get it to where it'll fit over the tongue of the panel. And once I had that working, I could then set up the tenon on the end of the short piece of the frame to fit into that dado. And once I had all that working, and it took some going back and forth and some fiddling and getting the, the fences set exactly right, I could then do all of the walnut. In fact, most, most of the time with this is the setup. Once, once the setup is done, the actual cutting of the pieces goes really quickly. Then I can cut the shorter pieces to very close to the right length, and I can set up the rabbits on the end. And once I have it in place, I can then mark exactly how long it needs to be. Now I left it just a little bit long so the panel would, would float in that groove. And I set it up with this where I could use, use the green saw to cut the length and use the yellow saw to cut the rabbits. And this actually worked pretty well. And then there was a glitch in the universe. <laughs> Now to put the frame on, I raised the panel up a little bit. I put the long ones on and then the short sides. And I dry fit everything and made sure everything fit nice and tight before I got the glue out. Once it was all fitting perfectly and everything seemed right, I then could glue the pieces together. So I ended up gluing one side first and letting that set up. And once that was set up and in place, I could then glue the other side on. And on the length, I left about a quarter of an inch because I think the piece is gonna expand and contract quite a bit as it's all side grain for close to four feet of length. So I was only doing two joints at a time instead of all four joints at once. And it all worked out. Once the glue was in place, I could then trim the ends down. I had left the pieces a little long. I can then trim everything to the right length and it will all be perfectly flush. Then I can sand the frame. That actually was pretty quick. It was all pretty close. I squirted the dust off. And I did the mineral spirits wipe down as well. And then I put finish on. I was realizing at this point that I needed to get the little edge of the frame that's next to the panel with finish as well. So I was getting finish on the panel. So I ended up putting a thin coat over the whole panel of handprints as well, just so it would be even and it wouldn't look like I had made a mess of the frame with the finish, but it all went just fine. And it turned out really nice. It's really nice with the finish on it. And I hope it does well at the auction. Thanks for watching.